Uh, I'm Chris with a K. I'm a software developer that works out at the Biz Foundry. Um, I'm, a, I'm a young guy. I'm 25. I uh, work for a company out of DC. I uh, started um, writing software um, basically when I was in college, and it was about two years in when I uh, started writing code a lot more than I was doing when I was actually studying in college. So. I took the leap, uh, taught myself how to program, took me about a year and some change, um, living with my parents, living with my grandfather up in New York, um, living with uh, a friend of mine, and then a uh, you know, small little stint in the back of my car, you know, just to kind of uh, give it the last chance, you know, kind of as the last stand of um, you know, making it work. And, uh, and thankfully, I uh, uh, spent some time at the Biz Foundry and uh, met up with another coworker uh, in need of you know, someone who did exactly what I did um, in that, uh, and really the rest is history. I uh, went to build that business out, um, ended up taking another job, uh, working remotely for a company out of Philly, um, taking that business and growing it to the point at which we sold it to the market leader of the environment that that product was in. And, uh, and now currently I work for a content marketing platform uh, based out of DC. Um, and that kind of brings us up to today. I uh, still co-work out of the Biz Foundry f five years later. The Biz Foundry came to me while I was in college, um, before I had actually made the leap to um, you know, pursue software development. Um, it was through an event called 48 Hour Launch, kind of a, uh, idea is to uh, get with a group of people and build a business idea and really like fully flush out every aspect of the business. You know, who are your customers? Who are you gonna be selling this to? How are you gonna build this product? Um, how much are you gonna make off of it? What are the costs associated with it? Who are the people you're gonna be competing with? The whole gamut, every aspect of it that you can think of. Um, and really to kind of get you in the gear of thinking as an entrepreneur, thinking as someone who is going to be um, one or many parts of a business. I'd gotten interested in that uh, through a mutual friend of mine and I'd, uh, spent a, it was a 48 hour launch, it, quite literally as in like stay there overnight as long as you really can and then the next day go and pitch the idea and the business that you had. That really was what planted the seed for what the Biz Foundry was and kind of what they represent, represented um, and the value that they bring of really getting people to think about um, maybe you don't even go to start a business. Maybe you just get to see where you are as a part of the business and what value you are bringing as a, um, as a piece of the greater whole that is that business. And, uh, and that really helped me um, communicate me as an individual, my value to other businesses. Um, as the idea of remote work has really started to take off, um, that is something that I can now go to other companies and say, this is the value that I'm delivering. These are the, inter these are the pieces that I'm gonna be interacting with. Um, and a lot of that knowledge came from the Biz Foundry. I really enjoyed spending time there, um, seeing as though the people that were there were either involved in business um, or they were wanting to get into business and um, just had questions and just go, the, the act of going through those kind of conversations of um, answering people's questions about, you know, hey, you know, should I uh, build my website from scratch? Like, oh, geez, don't do that. You know, like just the idea of like trying to uh, communicate those things in the context of the business world has been such a huge value add for me. I like to co work um, out of the Biz Founder specifically. Um, I, you know, I have a, and I have an office at home. I have um, spent significant times at coffee shops. Uh, there's three or four that are really good here in Cookville. And I choose to co-work out of the Biz Foundry because it, for me, provides the environment for which I can, I can control. It's got the people there that I want to be around. Um, it's got um, the environment that I want to be in. Um, it's got the, the freshness of a coffee shop without, without a lot of the downsides that um, home brings where you start to meld your work and your personal life together to where there, you start to blur those lines and you get undue stress out of that melding of those two situations. Um, and with a coffee shop, you have the chaos of you don't know who's going to be there at any given moment. You don't know how loud they're going to be. You don't know how 
down your neck they're going to be. Um, there's so much chaos at a coffee shop, even though the ambiance is great and the fact that the coffee's there. Is, co-working in general is really nice because you get to control all of that. Um, you get you get the really nice quiet time. Um, you get space if you need to take a phone call, if you need to jump on a group call. You, there's spaces dedicated just for that. Um, if you need to do something as a professional, it's really wonderful. I, I pitch it to remote workers all the time because it's, it has a lot of benefits.